What is going on guys? Gray here. Today I'd like to do another housing tour. I'm going to do another one of Dahl's homes. This is Cliff Shade here in Green Shade. This is a smaller home, but as I've talked about in past kind of home tour videos, the one thing I like about smaller homes is you can really fill them up with furniture and they look really, really good. They look full. They look like it's, you know, a all this usable space has been, you know, decorated and furnished. I've talked about this in past videos. When you have really big homes, sometimes it's really hard to get that really homey kind of filled up look. I have a big issue with a lot of the houses I have that are bigger where I can get a lot of furniture in there. But then, of course, I can't do things like this where you have bookshelves and, and small tables with knickknacks and, and candles on them and plates on them and cups. And you just don't have enough furniture to be able to do something like this or enough, you know, uh, furniture spaces to be able to do something like this in a bigger house. So these smaller homes are really, really good for this, in my opinion. Of course, on this side, we have another little small table. Uh, we just, once again, some little knickknacks, some candles, some really nice paintings hanging up. Of course, we have the chandelier right when you walk in. It's going to help light upstairs and downstairs. I know the good thing about small homes, you can light them very easily compared to some of the bigger houses uh, in the game. Uh, of course, this is one of the chandeliers that comes from uh, antiquities which I really like because it reminds me of if you guys uh, purchased some things from the luxury vendor a few months back when they had the orange and uh, or yellow I guess you would say and blue crystals it's kind of the same light that kind of comes off this that blue light but I like that it's just a, a chandelier that just kind of turns all the time of course when you first walk in the room we see the fireplace here with a really nice painting some tapestries on each side with some nice candles a candelabra kind of things uh, really good looking flowers in the pots here. I really like the idea of these flowers kind of against these uh, tapestries in the background. They're both very bright and colorful. We have some of the floating books here on top of the bookshelf along with just some regular books in the bottom of the bookshelf. It's a really unique looking uh, kind of idea as well. Uh, some other things here. A great place for a little small kitchen. I have a bad habit of doing things like this in my house or not doing things like this in my house, I should say. Where I'll get done and like kind of wish I had a bar area or a kitchen area and this is really good use in my opinion of this kind of small space over here right under the stairs kind of just make you a small kitchen you know you don't have to have a whole lot of items placed here uh, to make it look like a kitchen you can have some garlic hanging of course a few pots and pans some pies bread some beets you have your uh your halul stove here which looks really good and fits the theme kind of the look of the house also you have some more baskets some more breads and a few more cherry pies laying here uh, of course, you have the, the lantern here, which looks really, really good, or the, the little lamp itself. I always call this the genie lamp. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, you kind of go over to this room here, kind of a study slash bookshelf um, office kind of area. Looks really cool, once again, with just regular books here on the shelves. And then we have the floating books here as well. You can use these any way you want. You don't, don't necessarily have to put these inside of a bookshelf. So this is really good use of these books. Of course, another fireplace. Always really cool, in my opinion, to have these fireplaces in homes have them lit i think they look really really nice of course it lightens up the area as well with a lot of good lighting but it just looks you know like something you would see if you went to just a house in the real world we also have the tall stack of books over here as well so uh, there's a lot of studying going on here or a lot of research so this is a really cool uh just kind of bookshelf slash or you know book reading i guess you would say slash office kind of area uh, we'll go upstairs really quickly here and kind of look at what we got up here. Uh, really good use of also here, putting some you know things on the wall going upstairs. Nothing that's too big, furniture that's going to stand out, kind of get in the way. But just some things to make it feel very, you know, like I said, kind of, uh, just that homey kind of feel. Uh, these elsewhere ceremonial lanterns are really cool looking in my opinion. If you've never purchased these before in any of your houses, I really like the look of them. Uh, definitely give them a look. A lot of people think look at these and think they're candles. I always think it's candles as well until I really realize what it is. Those are really a nice kind of touch there going up the stairs also. Uh, we have some more of the flowers here that we had downstairs in another vase. Once again, just kind of brightens up the room. You know, if you're if you own your own home or you live in you know home uh, with somebody, you rent your home, whatever the case may be, you may still be young, live with your parents. You know, the brighter, the more brightness you kind of can bring to the room. You know, it kind of gives it a opened up kind of cool feel in a real home. Same kind of concept to me in homes in the Elder Scrolls Online. If you can brighten up a lot of these homes, you know, a lot of these places are kind of dark to begin with. Uh, it makes it feel very homey. It makes it feel more spacious. And of course, we have some of these hanging uh, kind of lamps or lanterns, however you'd like to describe them, kind of hanging up here. It doesn't take a lot of lighting in these small houses either. It's another great thing. Uh, one thing that's kind of unique that is done here in this house, there's two smaller beds where a lot of people like to put larger beds in their home. Uh, sometimes you just don't have the space or sometimes it may not look as good as something like this. And I kind of like this look because you have, you know, kind of a, a reading area here. 
but you also have these dividers that kind of break up, you know, both areas where these bedrooms are with, of course, you know, your lanterns and you, the trees here looks really cool. Of course, the tree and the flowers together with that bright colors. You have your, your chest sitting around here kind of used as, you know, you could use them to hide, hide your stuff in, hide your gear in, hide your armor in, uh, hide your, uh, your belongings in, whatever you want to do. This is something kind of unique here to have. Of course, the rugs looks really good here on this floor. Uh, we'll have another fireplace here upstairs with a cool painting hanging above it. All the fireplaces, the, fl the flowers, you know, just the way it's decorated to make it feel like a very, like I said, homey kind of feel. It's just a really nice looking place. Uh, Doll did a wonderful job with this house. I really, really like it. Like I said, it doesn't look overcrowded with furniture, but the great thing about it, these smaller homes, is you can put a lot of furniture in here. You can decorate a lot. You don't have to worry about spacing stuff out too much. You can put things on your tables, on your fireplaces, on your mantles, and everything looks very good. It just, you know, it looks like a house that you would see just in real life if you were, you know, at your friend's house or your own house, whatever the case may be. So a really, really nice house. I appreciate Doll letting me stop by and tour the home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you all next time.